Hello everyone, this is Ian from HP Software. Glad to be here today and I'm here with my colleagues Nurit and Rick. Hello guys. Hey Ian, how are you? We're fine, thanks. So we're going to talk to you today about something really exciting, uh, something that we call fanatical IT analytics. And to do that, I first need to set the scene for you uh, concerning um, various aspects of uh, what's happening today with IT. So today's IT, what does it look like? Well, you know, most people using uh, legacy applications, on-premise applications, but starting to use outsourced services, cloud services. Mobility, of course, is huge today. and People expect to be able to get access to their corporate applications from their own devices. Those business services uh, that they're accessing are typically more and more composite, you know, so that people have choice of technologies that they can use for front-end, for middle-tier, and for back-end applications. Composite applications are of that nature. As data centers need to support all of this, then uh, data centers are also starting to use a lot of virtualization now in production. And this gives rise to things like software-defined networks and data centers. Now, all of these typically come with their own point tools, which are important for people to have. but uh, when they use more and more of those tools, then the job of IT becomes more and more complex. Now, in a complex situation, uh, we can have situations where perfect storms occur. This is when multiple events cascade and uh, IT uh, systems go down. In this example here, uh, a major airline actually had an issue about a year ago. And when we measured the impact of this on their brand, on, on their stock on Wall Street, then we could see roughly 100 million hit on, on their stock. And this is not counting the revenue which they probably lost and the brand hit, of course, uh, through people uh, sitting around in airports for hours on end waiting for the airline to find the problem. This is pretty typical of what we call a perfect storm. And they do occur, and they occur uh, all too often. So at HP, we think we have a solution to help IT with this kind of issue and find those kinds of, of problems, the, the root cause behind those perfect storms, a lot faster. And we call it HP Operations Analytics, and this is applying big data analytics uh, to IT operations. And Rick and Nurit are going to uh, describe that and give you a demonstration of it in a few minutes. But first of all, what does it do? Well, first, the first thing that we call out that is necessary um, with this kind of solution is to be better prepared. If people were better prepared, they could probably avoid those perfect storms a lot better. And so if you go and collect information from all of the sources of those technologies, those devices that we talked about, even if the IT is not managing them, then of course that generates an awful lot of data. So we need to bring that into actually a big data store. We're using big data to solve a big data problem. So we collect all that data, we'll store it, we'll index it so that we can then understand it better, that we can learn what is its behavior, we can calculate automatically the baselines of that behavior, and then detect uh, using statistical analysis the uh, anomalies which uh, we can then use to take corrective action before actually any service is disrupted. So prediction, another aspect of analytics which is really important. And finally, as, as Rick will explain to you now, we can pinpoint. We can use a time machine type approach that he'll describe to you to be able to widen backwards and forwards and pinpoint information so much faster that could be done by traditional methods. So Rick, why don't I turn it over to you to, help, to explain this solution in greater depth. Thanks, Ian. As Ian said, that the idea is, is to apply big data analytics to all of the data from your IT operations environment. We did some research and found that over uh, half of the data that customers have generated in the, from their data centers sits unused. They can't touch it, they can't get the value out of it, they can't get the information out of it because they don't have the right tools, they don't have the right capabilities, they don't have the right time to be able to really analyze all of that data that they have for real insight and value into the business. So with operations analytics, as Ian described, we are preparing by collecting all of the data from all of the sources. As you can see there, we, we bring in data performance metrics and event data, information about your topology, how systems and nodes interact and interoperate with each other, as well as log data. So bringing in all of the data from your environment, bringing it into this single big data based analytics engine allows you to do three primary things. 
IT search, guided troubleshooting, and visual analytics. We, are, we bring data in from all of the different sources. It is a standalone solution, so nothing else is required, but we do leverage other tools and solutions that you may have in your environment to provide the data. So let's look a little bit more detail about this. For IT search, think of natural language search capability into all of your IT data. Not just log messages, but all of it. So you're able to simply start typing in search strings and something that you're interested in, and the analytics engine will correlate all of the data based on your search string and provide you visuals from your metric data, for example, and your events, as well as all of the appropriate log messages for that search string in the same time window context. And I think that's pretty critical because the idea is to narrow down your uh, your search environment, your search window, to just when the problem is. Instead of searching across all of your data, let's let it figure out when to search, and all of your data is then presented to you in the same time window context. We then guide you in troubleshooting the problems. So with all of the visuals, with all of the visualizations and the graphics and the uh, the the capability around the log messages, we're able to guide you to exactly where the problem is. So instead of having to, uh, to do a lot of, of uh, anal uh, analysis on your own, we're letting the tool do the analytics for you to guide you in troubleshooting to discover the root cause of your problems so much faster. Very innovative analytics. Um, hang on, Ian, let's go back very innovative analytics from a visual standpoint to, uh, to show you this. One of the, the cool things, and Nareed's going to show this to you in just a moment, is our uh, time machine for the data center. So the ability to, to play back and play forward in real time, even scrolling back and forth, for example, the data from your data center. We're pulling it out of a, a big data, data warehouse with the analytics tied to it very rapidly and so that you're able to see very cool visualizations of what your data looks like an hour ago, two hours ago, last week, and then over time. So let's let Nareet show you exactly what this cool solution looks like. This sounds great, Rick. So you can see uh, the screen of Operation Analytics. I'm now showing my uh, dashboard for the application Advantage, Advantage Online Banking. You can create your own dashboard for any application or service uh, very easily, selecting the type of visualization and the type of information you want to see. So you can see here the application availability and performance over time, uh, some system metrics, and log messages count, event count, and finally the log messages themselves. So I will use now the playback machine that Mitch, that Rick described. So you can see whatever metrics that you selected, you can see them over time running in the play, in the play machine, and you can then spot when the problem started. That will help you to understand the problem. So I see the performance issue in Advantage Banking application, and I now want to look at the cause for this. Looking at the layers, I see the transaction backend time is behaving very uh, with a lot of spikes. I look at the system metrics, and I see nothing. This is all looks really good. So I won't find the problem here. I continue and I look at the logs. I have it all here in the same place. The logs are also having some spikes. So maybe I will find my problem here. So I want to see the messages for the application server. I type in the application name, the application server name, and I see the relevant messages. I can see that I have a JDBC connection pool issue. 
I will type in JDBC to narrow down the amount of messages I have. Now I have much less messages and it's much easier to, to look for the message that I need. I found a message with SQL exception. This is the root cause for my performance issue. Now I can fix it. Rick, back to you. Thanks, Narek. That is such an exciting solution. The more we look into this, we see that what Operations Analytics provides for us is the way to significantly reduce our cost in our IT environment. First of all, we're going to reduce the number of outages. By using Operations Analytics, we can understand the root cause of problems so much faster. We can identify them and eliminate outages. And so we get to where the problems are faster than ever before. One of the cool things also is because we're preparing the data and having it collected ahead of time, we can actually return services, systems, nodes back to service immediately without having to do triage and investigation on the machine itself because we've collected all of the data and we've got it prepared in a big data store. So we're able to reduce our outages, find our problems faster, all at a much lower cost. One of our first customers with this solution is Vodafone in Ireland. And Luke Bradley has this to say about the product. He's so excited about the value that it brings in addition to our, his other HP software products that it's really going to help them in their environment solve problems faster, reduce the cost to the enterprise. His colleague, Alan, uh, is, is even um, has some other exciting things to say. <laughs> it's really cool. I like the fact that you can gather all of this information into one place. Uh, Luke is his manager, and so Alan and Luke together are really excited about what this solution brings to their business there at Vodafone in Ireland. So Ian, you want to close us out, please? Yeah, thanks, Rick. And uh, Nurit, uh, sorry about being too enthusiastic and uh, uh, um, moving to the demo, I was really enthused actually to see that demo uh, as fast as we could. I moved a bit too fast. Yeah, so absolutely hopefully no everyone has seen uh, why we are fanatical about IT analytics. This is a really exciting solution. A lot of customers are really interested in this. We hope you are too. And if you are, then here's the address that you should go to. Here's the URL for more information. You can see a short video with a very similar demo. There's a white paper which is giving the context of this solution as measured by an analyst and a lot more besides. If you have any issues getting any of that information or you have other queries, please send an email to myself here. So we'd like to thank you for your time today. Just a reminder of where to go to get more information. And uh, that closes our hangout for today. So I'll thank you, Nurit, and thank you, Rick. Thanks, Ian. Thanks, thank Nurit. You. Thank you.